Hello friends, myself Dr. Ajay Dikshit from CK Thakur College, New Panvel. Today we are going to talk on foreign exchange market. As you know, every country has its own currency with different value. For example, Indian rupee likewise America will have its own dollars, British government issues pound, then Euro is the currency of European Union. With a different value of each currency compels it to exchange before the purchasing for the goods and services. Now suppose if we want to purchase the TV from America or mobile from China then directly we cannot purchase as we are purchasing it from our market. First of all we have to purchase the dollar of America if we want to purchase TV from America. In the same way from China if we want our mobile to be purchased then we have to purchase their own currency first and then that currency will be used for the purchasing of the mobile. So every country will have different currency with different value and it needs us to exchange that currency. That currency will be exchanged into the foreign exchange market. Now we come to the meaning of the foreign exchange market. What is mean by this foreign exchange market? The foreign exchange market provides physical and institutional structure through which the currency of one country is exchanged for that of another country's currency means in this market if we want to exchange rupee with the dollar then we have to go into the foreign exchange market we have to give our rupee and in return to the rupee we can get the dollar like that foreign exchange market is a mechanism where various national currencies are purchased or sold so it is a mechanism or it is a system where we can exchange rupee with the dollar, rupee with the euro, rupee with the pound or sterling. Mechanism does not mean a particular place will be there. It will be foreign exchange banks. It will be commercial banks. It will be central banks. We call all them as the part of this mechanism. One additional definition we can get of foreign exchange market which is given by Kinley Berger. According to Kinley Berger, the foreign exchange market is a place where foreign currencies are bought and sold. So according to Kinley Berger, it is a place where one currency like our rupee and the dollar of America will be exchanged. Now after understanding properly the meaning of the foreign exchange, now we can come to some of the very important features of this foreign exchange market. Foreign exchange market will also be called as forex market also. Now this forex market or foreign exchange market is totally different from the other types of market like we have capital market, we have money market, we have the market of goods and services. From all these market this forex market is different. And as it is different it can have its own features or it can have its own characteristics. We call them peculiar characteristics or peculiar features also. Now we will come back to those features. The first feature is that it is not a single physical place. Just now in the definition we have told that there is no a single place for the foreign exchange market. It is scattered throughout the world. So as for goods market we can go to the demand we can go to the weekly market into the village like that there is no separate place for the foreign exchange market where we can take our money and we can get the dollars we can get the other foreign exchanges second there is a organizational setting organizational setting means commercial banks will be there central banks will be there foreign exchange brokers can be there all they are part of the organization. It is working like an organization. 
and in organization every part is connected with the other so central bank is connected with the commercial bank commercial bank is connected with the foreign exchange brokers foreign exchange brokers are connected with the importers or exporters the third major feature of this market is it is working throughout the day that means for 24 hour the market is open now since this market is working at global level in japan if it is a evening in america it can be morning in india it can be afternoon so japanese market can be closed at that time indian market foreign exchange market is working american exchange market is working so like that in different countries this market is continuously working except the weekends weekends will be the sunday there then worldwide operations worldwide operations means throughout the world now through online methods we can exchange the foreign currencies in america in russia in england in pakistan in bangladesh in japan in indonesia in australia everywhere there are operations of the foreign exchange market so it is working throughout the globe we call it as worldwide operation then large geographical dispersion is there large geographical dispersion means australia is far away from america america is far away from india india russia is far away from india so throughout the globe there is a large geographical dispersion dispersion means scattered throughout the world then largest market ever no other market is larger than this market since we know the capital market of india is restricted to india only money market of india is restricted to india only capital market of america can be restricted to america only japanese money market can be restricted to japan only but this foreign exchange market is working throughout the world so it is considered as the largest market then high liquidity high liquidity since entire world is involved into the actual working of the foreign exchange market so there is a huge liquidity that is flooded into this market then another feature is huge trading volume now before the completion of the trade we have to complete the trade into the foreign exchange market so if we want to purchase mobiles in thousands or if we want to purchase anything from any other country first of all we have to go into the foreign exchange market and we have to purchase the foreign currency so for every trade there is a requirement of foreign currency if the trade is crossing the international boundaries naturally all that trade will be the part of the foreign exchange market so there is a huge trading volume then it is working continuously we call continuous operations except the weekends only on sundays there can be a holiday otherwise throughout the week 24 hours this market is working as we have told into the sec third point 24 hour working is there lastly it is highly risky as we know capital market is risky money market is also risky even other markets are also risky but there is more risk associated with the foreign exchange market so these are some of the features of this foreign exchange market now we come to the functions of the foreign exchange market friends there are only three major functions of this foreign exchange market functions will tell us why this foreign exchange market is there what is the use of foreign exchange market what is the role of the foreign exchange market the first role or the first function of the foreign exchange market is the transfer that is transfer of the purchasing power from one country to the other country for example friends suppose i want to purchase the bananas in india then bananas will be there for 50 rupees per dozen means 12 bananas we can get from the market with 50 rupees but if we want to purchase the banana into the america then our 50 rupees will not be useful there then what is useful in america dollar is useful so if i go into the market of america 
to purchase the bananas i want their dollar there is no use of the 50 rupees there but 50 rupees in india are purchasing the one dozen of banana now same 50 rupees and its value we will have to transfer into the america and that transfer can be done through the foreign exchange market we have to go into the foreign exchange market by taking our 50 rupees then from those 50 rupees we can get the dollars suppose we want 1 dollar there then we have to use around 83 rupees 83 indian rupees so we will get 1 dollar there and then i can go into the american market and with that 1 dollar i can purchase one dozen of the bananas so the purchasing power in america is decided by dollar and the purchasing power of the rupees are decided into the india but these two purchasing powers can be matched by way of the foreign exchange market where rupees will be transferred into the dollars so this is the transfer of purchasing power from one country to the another another country this is the first and foremost and the major function of the foreign exchange market second function we call the credit function now here as we are going in our banks and taking the loans loans will be given by the bank in terms of rupees so if i go into the state bank of india i will get 10 lakhs rupees of loans so within rupees i will get the 10 lakhs rupees but if i want to purchase the loan from an american bank if i want to take the loan from an american bank in that situation hmm. i will get that loan in terms of dollars 10 lakhs rupees can be there in india but 1 lakh dollars can be there into the america and i have taken the loan from america now i have to transfer that loan into the india so how i can transfer that 1 lakh dollar into the india for that i have to go into the foreign exchange market i will go to the foreign exchange market by taking 1 lakh dollars which i got from an american bank then i will convert those 1 lakh dollars into the foreign exchange market and then that will be converted into the rupee and those rupee can be used into the india so i have to use rupees i have to use the loan in india but i have to take it from american bank then there is a requirement of the foreign exchange market without foreign exchange market i cannot transfer this so that is called as credit function the transfer of the loans will be taken place debts of the loans can be taken place interest and principal amounts can be exchanged into the two countries the third major function of the foreign exchange market is hedging we call hedging function here there is a covering of the risk which is associated with the foreign currency isn't it we call coverage of the risk why coverage of the risk because every day as we know the value of the dollar is coming down or it is going up in that situation there is a possibility of loss to the importers there is a possibility of loss to the uh, other stakeholders also sellers and buyers sometimes suppliers and dealers in that situation this foreign exchange market will be useful for speedy exchange of the currency from one country to the other country that will be helpful for reducing the risk which is associated with the foreign exchange market because in features of the foreign exchange market we have already studied this is a highly risk risky market because every time the price of the dollar is changing today it is 83 rupees tomorrow it can be 84 rupees it can be 82 rupees in that situation there will be no change into the values of the goods and services that we are exchanging but only there is a change into the value of the dollar or foreign exchange so risk is associated with that that risk can be reduced by an efficient foreign exchange market we call efficient means speedy there can be a transfer of the one currency into the other currency so these are some of the functions of foreign exchange market in this lecture friends we have seen first of all its meaning then we have seen the features or characteristics of the foreign exchange market and then we have seen the functions of the foreign exchange market
थैंक यू